Ye stand this day, all of you, before Yahuwah Elohim, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Yashrael, your little ones, your women, and your stranger that is in your camp, from the hewer of your wood unto the drawer of your water, that you should enter into covenant with Yahuwah Elohim, and into his oath which Yahuwah Elohim cuts with you this day, that he may establish you today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto you Elohim, as he has said unto you, and as he has sworn unto your fathers, to Avraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov. Neither with you only do I cut this covenant and this oath, but with him that stands here with us this day before Yahweh Eloheinu, and also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, and how we came through the nations which ye passed by. And ye have seen their abominations, and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. Lest there should be among you man, or woman, or family, or tribe, whose heart turns away this day from Yahuwah Eloheinu, to go and serve the Elohai of these nations. Lest there should be among you a root that bears gall and wormwood. And it come to pass, when he hears the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of my heart, to add drunkenness to thirst, Yahuwah will not spare him. But then the anger of Yahuwah and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this sefer shall lie upon him. And Yahuwah shall blot out his name from under heaven. And Yahuwah shall separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Yisrael, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this sefer of the Torah. So that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land shall say, when they see the plagues of the land, and the sickness which Yahuwah has laid upon it, and that the whole land thereof is brimstone, and salt, and burning, that it is not sown, nor bears, nor any grass grows therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Amorah, Adma, and Seboim, which Yahuwah overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all the nations shall say, Wherefore has Yahuwah done thus unto this land? What means the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahuwah Elohai, of their fathers, which he cut with them, when he brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim. For they went and served other Elohim, and worshipped them, Elohim who they knew not, and who he had not given unto them. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against this land, to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this sefer. And Yahuwah rooted them out of their land in anger, and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, as it is this day. Now the secrets of Yahuwah Eloheinu, and the revealing to us and our sons forever, is by the keeping of all the words of this Torah. Debarim, Deuteronomy chapter 30. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you shall call them to mind among all the nations whither Yahuwah Elohika has driven you and shall return unto Yahuwah Elohika, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command you this day, you and your children, with all your heart and with all your soul, that then Yahuwah Elohika will turn your captivity and have compassion upon you, and will return and gather you from all the nations whither Yahuwah Elohika has scattered you. If any of yours be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahuwah Elohika gather you. And from thence will he fetch you, and Yahuwah Elohika will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it, and he will do you good, and multiply you above your fathers. And Yahuwah Elohika will circumcise your heart and the heart of your seed, to love Yahuwah Elohika with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. And Yahuwah Elohika will put all these curses upon your enemies, and on them that hate you, which persecuted you and you shall return and obey the voice of Yahuwah, and do all his commandments which I command you this day. And Yahuwah Elohika will make you plenteous in every work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your land for good, 
for Yahuwah will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers. If you shall hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Elohaika to guard his commandments and his statutes which are written in this Sefer of the Torah. And if you turn unto El Yahuwah Elohaika with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear and do it? But the word is very nigh unto you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. See, I have set before you this day life and good, and death and and evil, in that I command you this day to love Yahuwah Elohaika, to walk in his ways, and to guard his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply, and Yahuwah Elohaika shall bless you in the land where you go to possess it. But if your heart turn away, so that you will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other Elohim and serve them, I declare unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether you pass over the Yardan to go to possess it. I call the heavens and the earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both you and your seed may live, that you may love Yahuwah Elohaika, and that you may obey his voice, and that you may cleave unto him, for he is your life, and the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers, to Avraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov, to give them.